Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. Well, the temperature did not hit 90 degrees today, and one big reason, cloud cover. The clouds held the temperature down today, but still it managed to reach at least 87 degrees at uh, Windsor Lock, so it was a warm day. And we had some rain, especially near the coast, where it poured for a while earlier today, and we have some lingering rain in the southeastern Connecticut, but that will be ending over the next couple of hours, and the rest of the state is dry. And it will likely stay that way. You can see that it did rain in New London, but currently not much going on there. The rain has knocked the temperature down to 74 degrees in New London. Meanwhile, we have an overcast sky over Torrington, but it's thin and it's allowing a little bit of sunshine to uh, kind of shine through the clouds a little bit. 85 right now at Windsor Locks. Hartford is a warm spot at 87. Waterbury and Danbury are, Danbury are 80 and it's 84 degrees in Willimantic and where it rained in southeastern Connecticut, temperatures are in the 70s and the dew point, the measure of humidity varies widely across the state. You look at northern Connecticut and Windsor Locks, the dew point is 57. But in southern Connecticut, the dew point is in the lower 70s, which is oppressive humidity. So in northern parts of the state, we have the drier air coming in on this uh, northerly breeze while we have that onshore flow along the Connecticut shoreline, keeping that humidity up. But the boundary between dry air to the north, humid air to the south is right to the south of Connecticut. And that uh, will kind of uh, stay there over the coming days. But you see this drier air to our west. That's going to be moving in tonight, giving us some partial clearing. And you can see dew point temperatures to our south are way up in the 70s. For example, Philadelphia has a dew point of 75 right now, but we're not going to get into that high humidity over the coming days. One thing the Hurricane Center is watching and we're monitoring as well is this area of disturbed weather over North Carolina. This has a low chance of developing into a tropical cyclone. However, it's going to be moving due east and therefore here in New England, we don't have to worry about it at all. All right, future cash shows that we'll have diminishing cloud cover as we go through tonight and tomorrow is shaping up to be a partly sunny day with a very low risk for an isolated shower here and there. And then as we go into a Saturday, well, we'll start out with some sunshine, then an ocean flow is going to start spreading some clouds into the state uh, during the afternoon. And there could be some hit or miss showers before the uh, afternoon or evening is over. And then it looks like we'll have showers or maybe some occasional rain on Sunday. But the big news is that over the weekend, a northeasterly flow is really going to cool us down. So lows tonight in the 60s, a little bit cooler than recent nights and highs tomorrow are going to be in the mid to perhaps upper 80s. We could see temperatures in northern Connecticut get up there around 87, maybe even 88 degrees before the day is over. Here's your seven day forecast, 82 on Saturday with increasing clouds during the afternoon. And we'll say some occasional rain on Sunday. Highs in the 70s, when was the last time we had highs in the 70s here in Connecticut? Monday, 82, still some lingering showers and perhaps a thunderstorm. Then Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday are looking great. Partly sunny all three days, highs in the low and mid 80s. And uh, well, looks like the humidity is going to be fairly low as well. So heat wave number six is not at that seven day forecast. And for the shoreline tomorrow, a high of 84.